Good morning YouTube. So I just wanted to show you what we've achieved this weekend. Um, I'm standing at the sort of back, if you like, of my veg my, sorry, my husband's veggie patch. You can see the shade house there up and running. I'll go and take a closer look in a minute. But my husband's worked really hard the weekend. Well, we both have really. Um, he's got rid of all these um, containers all around the outside, apart from some, which has got, um, you know, plants in that he wants to keep. Um, so, uh, I'll just go down and take a closer look now. So, let's get down here. I'm so pleased he's finally tidied this all up because it was getting worse and worse. Um, so this is how he intends to grow in future because of the pine roots. Um, he's probably going to get more larger containers and he's going to be growing it in PB bags, etc, etc. We find that, you know, we grew carrots, um, in these bags last year and they were very very successful so you know that's that's fine there's a few carrots there look, which we could harvest <laughs> but um so yeah so he's going to be doing this on these big you know if we need any more space which we really don't to be perfectly honest with you um i'll just look back it's got all those veggie beds it's more than enough for the two of us um, so this is the shade house. I'm really, really pleased with this. I'll go inside now so you can um, see it all finished. He did put the ends on, um, the original plastic ends. Whoops, I trip over the irrigation. That's one thing he has got to sort out. All this irrigation pipe, he's got to feed it all through, you know, all through the veggie beds to, to put into these pots so we can just put it on all at once and water and feed everything um so back to the shade house so he has put this um let's get back over here a bit more you can see he's put the end on which is the original plastic end and also down the other end there um so this is plastic but this door you know broke a long time ago um so we're just keeping this open now but we thought it'd be a good idea to or i did put the plastic at the end and this end to stop birds flying through and what have you but Obviously, it's not going to stop them coming in here. Um, so, as you can see, we've got rid of all the uh, the stumps, the tree stumps. And we've got rid of all the soil and we've just put all a load of um, bark mulch down. Um, we've got these tables, if you remember those. I got those from my husband's work. They are surplus to requirements. So, they're all in here and they're all perched ready for um, all the orchids to go on for the summer. So it's just going to be, you know, everything's got to go on these tables. They can go below as well. Um, so I'm hoping that this is going to be good enough. Um, the one thing he wouldn't remove, and I really wanted him to get rid of it, is this tamarillo. <laughs> but if it dies, he said he'll take it out. Now, I'm not going to sabotage it <laughs> as much as I'd like to. So we'll see. We'll see if it doesn't shoot. He's going to take it out, which would be great. And I'll be able to get another table for there. So that as you can see, there's plenty of room. I mean, I'll go back right back to here. Back up. And you can see. I mean, that there is going to be for um, putting the pots in to feed, etc, etc. I know it's. Um, I'm going to put some wood in it so it's a flatter surface. So that'll be good. And that'll warm up during the summer. Um, the chairs are just in here because I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> and I thought it'd be nice to sit out here for have a cup of tea or whatever. Um, so yeah, so you see I've put a couple of little cymbidiums at the end here. Um, these are just my test subjects, if you like. Um, we're still getting frost here at the moment, so I don't want to risk bringing every, all my cymbidiums out. But we had a heavy frost the other night and this these were fine they weren't frosted i think probably this does give them a bit of protection which is great um so you know we'll see the other thing he did he knitted two pieces together you can see so it was two long lengths um and we had happened happened to have a piece that fitted perfectly so that was really good news we didn't even have to we only had to cut it in half so that was brilliant um, it's quite long on the side, so we've just tucked it up like that um, and tied it up. So, 
so that's good and then in the summer the plan is I can't hang very much from from these um these posts because it's not this shade it's um tunnel house it's not that strong it was just a cheap one when we bought it um and the reason it's gone like it has is because um you know the wind's quite prevalent along this side and it just blew the plastic out and you know it all mushed up and got bent and what have you so that's why it's like it is but obviously the wind's going to be able to go through this hopefully um and it'll be good so um so the plan is along that top bar there or even along the sidebars we're going to put some irrigation pipe so we can attach that all the way along and i shall be putting some misters on it not not sprinklers i thought just misters and that i can use for cooling down and um giving the orchids just some uh a little bit of water just mainly for cooling purposes this bath here is going to be where i'm going to mostly water and feed them so um yeah so that's it really i mean i put these planters in here i'm hoping to put the cymbidiums the nicer cymbidiums in those um in a month or two's time i've got a couple in coming into bud and i'll go in now and show you that so i'm really happy with the end results um it looks good it's tidy we've put all mulch down the end here we've just got to shift this pile of soil here and you know do a bit of tidying up bits and pieces not much so i'm really happy with the state of it now so that's good you're being a monkey. You're chasing chickens. You leave the chickens alone, mister. I heard you. You behave yourself. Right, so the scruffy cymbidiums that was on the patio, I've now moved. Just a minute. God, they're monkeys. I've got to watch them. They tread and, just, you know, walk on my plants. Generally, they stay off the garden. They're pretty good, but every now and then I've got to tell them. Um, right, back to this. The cymbidiums, um, the scruffy ones, are here. I've just put them here. They are re reasonably protected from the frost there. And um, I've just put a couple over here. So hopefully they'll, you know, they're all protected under the tree, so they'll be fine. I found that bag of... Um, I can't remember what they're called. They're a type of polyantha. Um, but I found that bag of polyanthus in my husband's veg patch. <laughs> I said, oh, I love that. Nice bit of colour just outside the shade house. Orchid house. Shade house over there. This is the orchid house. So let's go inside and have a look. So I'm stood in the doorway. It's quite um, foggy in here today because I've got all the misters going. It was sunny earlier, but the sun's gone in. So as you can see... We've had a rearrangement, so we haven't put the big greenhouse in here yet because that's a major job, but we have <laughs> moved this one around so the door's at this end. So the big one's going to go here and this, uh, this black rack and this silver rack's going to go either side. So the black rack's basically staying where, where it is. And this rack is going to be going down this side. This rack is going to be going over there and over here. This is essentially staying, you know, the baker's rack and everything's going to stay there. So as you can see, so everything's exactly the same. So I've just, you know, it, it was a mission. I had to take every one of these plants, plants out. Whoops, I've just knocked something over. That's good enough for me. Um, I had to take every one of these plants out and I didn't, it wasn't that warm the weekend when we decided to do it so I didn't want to put them outside so um, I had to sort of move the racks over here and put them over there and um, but hey you know we managed it and um, we'd done it. I only needed my husband's help to reset the light up there and also to help move the greenhouse itself. And I've created, and it's just enough space for me to squeeze through down here, as you can see. And I've created this lovely shaded spot. This is going to be quite shaded. So I've put most of the hanging baskets in there because I'm banging, on my, banging our heads on them quite regularly. Um, so you can see them. They're all up there, hanging pots. And I'm going to have my ferns in that this side. 
so it should be great because the sun's not going to come down on this very much not only that soon i'm going to be putting or well, my husband is is going to be putting the shade cloth back on the roof sorry about the wobbling around um so so there you go so i'm really really chuffed to get all this done i'm really hoping to get <laughs> fogginess in here really hoping to get this area done um next weekend weather pending obviously a lot of this will have to go outside um i just don't have the space to you know keep it all in here so um hopefully we'll be able to um you know move a lot of it and uh get it done so we'll see i did have the fan on <laughs> but it's noisy so i turned it off so i got a new fogger which is brilliant um working better my old black one's still going but the other one conked out and i've got a white one in there which is doing quite well as well i see it's a little bit low i've top it up so yeah, so hopefully that's going to keep them nice and cozy. <laughs> I get more and more steamed up. I better wrap it up. Hopefully it's going to keep them nice and cozy for the um, for the winter. And um, I better clean up the mess. What I've just knocked over. There you go. Look. Good enough for me. Amaryllis pot. But that's okay. It's only the, the um, stones that I've knocked over. Anyway, thanks for um, watching. Please like or dislike and subscribe and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.